Crazy woman. Which one? Mother drowns her five month old baby. What is this world coming to? She drowned the baby in a basin full of water, dressed the dead baby up, and took her to hospital, where she was pronounced dead. The police were alerted, and the woman was arrested. I cannot believe this. Was, was she the biological mother? Does it matter? How can anyone in their right mind kill an innocent child? What makes the both of you think that she was in her right mind? Are you saying she's insane? One state of mind does not warrant anyone to kill a five-month-old baby. Do you have the facts of the case? Facts of the case. Typical of a lawyer to think about the facts of a case instead of the value of a life lost. <laughs> Just look at her. Look, she looks completely sane. Saner than most people I know. Hmm. Eve Latif. She's quite pretty if you ask me. Are you serious? Lasting over a murderer? A little selection and the type of women you want, please. Just because she killed her own baby does not mean that she's any less attractive. Give me that. Let me look at the story. More like admire the I could kill her. It's not in your place to pass sentence or even make judgments. It's like hell it is. Killing an innocent baby. Holding an innocent child down until it drowns. What the hell do you call that? Do not blame without facts. I would wring her neck with my bare hands. I guess that means my sister Eve won't get legal representation from work on company. Eve Latif? is not a murderer. She is spent more than anyone else and now she's in remand. My poor sister. If she's jailed, I will die. Please help my sister. I beg you. She's innocent. Let me call you in five minutes. In my office. Now. Let's get a glass of water. Saturday morning it is then. Come in. What in Pete's name was that at the reception? A client. A client? The one you had your arms around was a client? Mr. Moko, her sister just lost her daughter. And in a strange twist has been charged with the murder of her own child. So she came to Moko for representation? <laughs> Have you read today's paper? No, I haven't had the chance. You should. The headline. <laughs> Mother drowns a five-month-old baby. Hmm, sad. Quite demented, if you ask me. The woman at your reception is a sister to Eve Latif. The woman who's been charged with the murder arising from the death of her own five-month-old baby. Um, Gabriela. Now, Mr. Marco, she's here for us to represent her sister. 
If you ask me, we should take this case. The publicity in this case will be good for this farm. The story has received so much media coverage. There's nothing we can do about it. Just be strong. Okay. All right. They're going to record the proceedings. Just be calm. Just, all you have to do is just be calm. doing, son? Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm going to Geneva with mom. What? Yeah, I said I'm going to Geneva with mom and don't try and stop me. Your mother and I are yet to discuss whether she's taking that job or not. Are there chances of that she is not? And who tells you that I'll let you get out of the country? You might as well end up in a body bag or in jail. <coughs> as usual, you have the answers for everything, huh? Were you all concerned? Yes. <coughs> well, Dad, I have news for you. Mom just signed her contract with the UN and she's going to Geneva. No, she is not. Yes, she is. She is not. Yes, she is. She is not. Yes, she is. Trouble in paradise, huh? Oh, my God. Mom, mom just took a job abroad and you have no idea? <laughs> Get out of my way. Gladly. <laughs> oh, and by the way, she's leaving on the 21st, just in case you did not know. Wait, then again you don't. <laughs> Officer Khadija, please, kindly tell us what happened on the 2nd at 12.30 p.m. I received a phone call from Dr. Faulu about a dead baby. Please, give us the details of this phone call. Dr. Faulu called and informed me that she suspects one of her patients had killed her own daughter. What did you do next? I asked my colleagues to come with me. I then joined Dr. Faulu in the mortuary, where he carried out an autopsy in my presence. What did the autopsy show? The baby was killed by drowning. We also found traces of water and shampoo in the baby's lungs and organs. The shampoo we found matches the one that was at Eve Latif's house, next to a basin full of water. What led you to conduct a search at the accused's house? I needed to prove that the baby died in Eve Latif's hands under her care. Is this the shampoo that was found on the scene? Yes. We also dusted it for prints. The prints we found matches Eve Latif's prints. Your Honor, I'd like to submit this as evidence with a fingerprint report attached. Exhibit accepted. Thank you. Is this the basin that was used to drown baby Gabriella? Yes, it is the basin we found at the scene. We found it halfway filled with water. Silence. Silence. I said silence in my courtroom. Your Honor, I'd also like to submit this evidence 
that was used to kill baby Gabriella for your observation. Okay. Accepted, counsel. Uh, what time? What, what time did Eve Latif wake up? At about 7 p.m. when we had already concluded the autopsy and the house search. How was her demeanor? She was very coherent and sober until when I asked her about the baby, she said her baby was at home sleeping. Are you saying that she did not know she had killed her daughter? At first, no. But when I asked her some more questions and she realized that her baby was dead, she screamed loudly and started saying incoherent things about her evil hand and mind. Are you saying that she confessed of her crime in your presence? Yes. Did she seem um, crazy, suffering from a mental condition? After her incoherent episode, no. She was very quiet and sober. From your investigation, officer, would you say that the killing of baby Gabriella was an accident or premeditated? It was premeditated. It was not an accident. The basin used to drown the baby, as we all have seen, is very small and shallow. We also found some bruises in the baby's chest. The baby couldn't have died unless she was held down. Are you certain, officer? Very certain. Baby Gabriel was held down until her last breath. Thank you, Officer Adija. Winnie, is there something important that I should know? Nothing at all? You don't think there is something that you need to tell me? I'm not being mysterious. Maxwell has just been to my office and he's given me some very disturbing news. He says you have already signed for the job in Geneva. So it is true. You don't, you don't think it was important to let me know or to let us discuss it as a family should? Very disappointed in your winning. I should have heard it from Maxwell. You mentioned that when Miss Eve Latif realized or remembered that she had killed her daughter, she turned violent to herself. Yes. At that realization, she attempted to slice up her hands with a pair of scissors. And in fact, if you hadn't been in that room, she'd have managed to do so. Or maybe even harm herself even worse. That's true. In your line of duty, you meet, interrogate, investigate uh, various types of criminals, right? Yes. Petty thieves, mm. rapists, and murderers. You name it. Must be a tough job, eh? Yeah. Okay, back to Eve. The violent, is the violent reaction uh, consistent with that of a person who contemplated and executed a crime so vile such as murder, killing a baby, own baby? I'm not in a position to say. Yes, you are, Officer Khadija. You've been exposed to various types of criminals, and you had the chance of studying the psychology. Objection, Your Honor. Officer Khadija is not a specialist in deducing one's state of mind or intentions out of observing them. Is it my question in the same line as my class demeanor, which he asked during his uh, examination? And you are the one who started that line of questioning. She has answered the question. She is not in a position to tell. You know, all I needed to know is the observation, not some scientific <sighs> finding. Okay. 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 Mr. Cario is correct to take the same line of questioning that you have. So, I'll allow it. Officer Khadija, please answer the question. No. It's like she was in two different types of worlds. The first world, where she knew her baby was safe, at home sleeping. And the second world, where she realized she has already killed the baby. In two worlds? Yes. So according to your observation, she did not commit the crime knowingly? Something like that. 
In other words, you are not sure if she had any intention of killing her baby. She may have done and pretend not to. No, 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 no. Do not give opinions here. That's all, Your Honor. For how long was uh, she in this world where her baby was still alive and safe? For about 10 minutes. So she spent 10 minutes drowning her baby, another 10 to 15 minutes dressing her up, and probably 15 minutes to get to the hospital. That's about what? Uh, 35 to 40 minutes, right? I guess so. So using your theory of her being in two worlds, she ought to have snapped out of it before she got to hospital. I mean, 35 minutes is a long time. She spent 10 minutes to get back to reality in your presence, right? Yes. So it is safe to assume while she was preparing to go to the hospital, reality had dawned on her, thus was consciously aware of her crime, right? Yes. It's a possibility. It is a possibility, Your Honor. Thank you. Dr. Faulu, you are the one who examined the baby, Gabriela Latif, when she was brought to the hospital by her mother, Eve Latif. Yes. From your notes here, I see that you ordered for an immediate autopsy. Why? She had wrapped her baby so tightly in several baby shows. My first instinct was to ascertain whether the baby was breathing normally. I found out that the baby was stuck, pale, lifeless. What did you do next? I requested Miss Eve Latif to wait at the reception as I examined the baby in private. Make me understand. Why would you request her to leave? I needed to examine the baby without any interruptions. And it's a normal procedure. I also suspected she had killed her own baby. So I needed the privacy to call the police immediately. I confirmed my findings. Did she leave immediately? No, she didn't. She started screaming, shouting, and ranting like a mad woman. One of the nurses rushed out and they got a sedative. She came back with a security guard who held her down as she injected the sedative in her. They then took her to the examination room where they strapped and they locked her in. Let's forget about her for a minute. How about the baby? The baby was already dead, though I still checked on her heart and other vitals. I ordered for an autopsy of which I carried out myself and my colleague Dr. Matu. What did the autopsy reveal? The baby died of anti-mortem drowning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you elaborate on that? Is death caused by drowning via fluid while a person is still alive? When a person is drowning while still alive, he would make some violent respiratory efforts to respire. Water would enter through the respiratory openings along with respiratory hair and would reach the avioli, a fine balloon-like terminals of the lungs. Due to the violent respiratory effort, some of the avioli would rupture, causing the water and everything else in the water to be sucked into tiny blood vessels lining the avioli. So how did you verify that it was drowning? The avioli ruptures, water finds its way into the blood vessels. 
their altar would pump the water to all conceivable organs of the body, in the liver, brain, lungs, bone marrow, everywhere. Oh, so there was water in parts of the body where water was not meant to be. Precisely. And there is no other way that this water would have gone to these vital parts. Not that I know of. I also found traces of baby shampoo in the water in her lungs. Baby shampoo. And this is the exact baby shampoo that the police found in the accused's house after the search, right? Yes. Doctor, is this the autopsy report of uh, baby Gabriela? Yes, it is. Thank you. Your Honor, I'd like to submit this autopsy report as evidence. Okay, uh, report accepted. Thank you. Um, Dr. Faulu. Do you deliver news of death to parents and friends of your patients? Normally, yes. And how do they generally at, um, react? Crying, shouting, screaming, fainting. I've witnessed all sorts of reactions. Mm. Would you warrant that of uh, Miss Latif when she was in your office as one of the various types of reactions? Hers was a typical reaction, but slightly more violent. Could you consider it normal? I could say so. Now, you had mentioned that uh, you sedated Miss Latif and locked her up in one of the examination rooms. Yes. Reasons being? Her reactions bordered more on a psychosis break than extreme sadness due to the loss of her child. I feared for her safety. Now, according to the brief analysis of her, she presented signs of a person who is on the verge of a psychotic breakdown and would self-endanger. So would it be possible to say that she was experiencing mental breakdown before she admitted her dead baby into the hospital? Your Honor, I have to object. Dr. Faulu is not a specialist in mental disorder and cannot answer questions pertaining to the accused's state of mind. Sustained. Mr. Cario, do this, eh? Get a specialist to answer your questions. Are we clear? Do you have further questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Dr. Mkoa. Yes. What is your specialization? Internal medicine and psychiatry. You had an opportunity to examine Miss Eve Latif when she was brought to the hospital. Yes, I did. What was the conclusion on her mental state? Well, Eve Latif suffered from depression, postnatal depression, especially after she had separated from the father of her child. Uh, postnatal depression is a form of clinical depression which can affect women. Doctor, what are the symptoms of postnatal depression? The symptoms include unexplained sadness, fatigue, insomnia, appetite uh, changes, anxiety, crying episodes, reduced libido. The list is long. I could go on and on and on. Thank you, Dr. Dodd. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it uh, a serious condition? Very serious. Dr. Mkoa, can uh, postnatal depression cause one to be so violent as to commit murder? No. Uh, expression of, of anger, yes. One would shout, throw objects, but killing. From my experience and studies, 
committing deliberate murder? No. How about uh, episodes of lack of reality? Like Eve Latif exhibited at the hospital before she was arrested. What Eve Latif exhibited at the hospital was simply denial. When something very tragic happens, something the brain, an event that the brain cannot comprehend or absorb, uh, it shuts down the memory until such a time that it feels the person can be able to cope. That is in layman's terms. But it does not erase memory. It's a defense mechanism. Is it proper to say that she suffered from a temporary memory loss? In a manner of speaking, yes. Caused by the event, the tragic event of killing her daughter. Quite true. And the natural course of action the brain took as a coping mechanism was to mask it from the memory. Thank you very much, Doctor. Very much. Thank you also. It's starting to get dirty, Dad. It's got all the signs. Elsie, are you ready for it? Definitely, of course I am. I mean, in terms of legal representation? What do you mean? I mean, I don't think it's a good idea for you to represent yourself. Elsie, you know you are a very good attorney. But the way I've seen this case coming on you, it will have a toll on you. Interesting. Marco was saying the exact same thing. But you know what? No one understands what I've been through better than I do. All right. I totally agree with you. But again, somebody must tell your story. Somebody has to express your feelings. And then the judge may have some empathy on you. You're starting to sound exactly like Marco. Yes, he is a very experienced person. He has a long time as a litigator and he's able to see things the way they will happen later. Okay, I'll think about it. It actually makes sense. That's all right. Good. Thank you. Mm. Please tell us what's the, what does um, postnatal psychosis mean? Postnatal psychosis is a separate kind of uh, mental illness. Uh, it involves a complete break with reality. Although sometimes confused with or uh, erroneously referred to as postnatal depression. How common is postnatal psychosis? Not as common as postnatal depression. Uh, postnatal psychosis involves the onset of psychotic symptoms, which may include thought disorders, delusions, hallucinations, and or disorganized speech or behavior. It cannot go away without medical treatment. So is it possible to say that my client here, Ms. Latif, was suffering or is suffering from postnatal psychosis? No. She was lucid and in control of her body and mind. If she was in control of her body and mind, then why was she suffering from postnatal depression? Postnatal depression is common in women, mm. and with reference to this case, it has never ever led to violent tendencies. Can you say that for a fact? Are there studies that support your claim, or any documentation? No, not at the moment. However, there are no reports to show the correlation between... Uh, that's enough, Doctor. Yona, that's all. Harris Sitima, please tell the court um, your relation to the accused and the deceased baby Gabriella. I'm the father of the murdered baby Gabriella. Even I were engaged. We were living together at first uh, before the baby was born, then we have a wedding. For how long were you in a relationship with uh, Eve? We, um, we had dated for four months. 
Uh, then she got pregnant. <clears throat> Thereafter, we started living together. Are you saying it was because of the pregnancy that you wanted to marry her? She, she was a wonderful person, uh, the kind of woman every man will want to marry. She, she was good looking. Uh, she was funny, lovely, a charm, the full deal. But to answer your question, I wasn't ready for marriage. I, uh, however, wanted to take responsibility for my action. There are very few men like you nowadays. She was a very lucky woman. You're now separated, correct? Yes. For how long? About three months now. You got separated when baby Gabriela was three months old? Sadly, that's correct. What led to your separation? It changed. She became a woman I called her no longer recognize. Please expand on that. See, she had this really bad, and I do mean really bad mood episodes. She could um, spend days without talking to me. Uh, she could um, lock me out of the bedroom. Sometimes she would attack me, kick me out of the house. For how long did this go on? Uh, let me see. Uh, it started four months before the baby was born. Was she violent with you? Mr. Stimmer, please, it is important that you answer my question. There's nothing to be embarrassed here. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. She used to. When it got serious, I would, um, I would, um, you know, run to my, to my, to my neighbors and to my friends' home to spend the night. Uh, the next day, she will apologize, and I will, I will go back home. Uh, it. Um, I, I, I just couldn't take it anymore. See, I thought this will come to an end, uh, it will be over when the baby was born. Uh, but um, she, she just got worse. got worse. Did you advise that she seek professional help? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I scouted for, a, for someone who was actually ready to help, to help her. I, I, I described the symptoms to the doctor, uh, who indicated that she could be suffering from, uh, you know, the pre and and or post uh, postnatal depression. But the doctor was quite positive. He said that this thing could be fixed. She refused to see the doctor. However, she improved for some few weeks, then um, and got worse. How worse? She, um, she could break everything in the house. She, we, we started with the plates, the glasses, the windows, the doors. <laughs> All that when she got annoyed. No matter how petty an issue was, she could always, I mean, I do mean, she could always exaggerate the whole situation. Her behavior was um, bizarre. I could not take it anymore. The relationship was basically over. It was dead. I, uh, I met someone else. So, yes, I left Eva. I started a new life with uh, my current girlfriend. Are you saying that uh... She had violent episodes. I, uh, I, 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 I do regret, I do regret leaving the, the, my daughter with her. You see, every night when uh, in my dreams I would hear calling my name, 
uh, she could um, she could ask me questions like why why did you forsake me? I wish I wish I'd taken her. I wish I'd taken her. She could be alive right now. Just... Ah yes. She was she had violent episodes. I just never thought she could direct them to, to a small baby. I always thought they always directed towards me. I'm so sorry. Mr. Sitima. I'm deeply sorry for your loss. Uh, very sorry. Deeply sorry. However, you still left a little baby in somebody's arms who you knew very well was mentally disturbed. What? Objection! You are responsible for the death of little Gabriela. You knew very well that Eve had mood swings which would turn violent and yet you left her and your daughter to run off with another woman. Objection! Uh, Mr. Cario, stop that right now. Your Honor, it was insensitive, colors and stupid for him to walk away from Eve and Gabriela. And yet he knew very well what conditions that Eve was in. I mean, it's pretty obvious that she needed medical attention. But he decided to run off with another woman. <sighs> Mr. Carrillo. Your Honor, Mr. Stima here has already testified to my client's queer behavior. But yet he chose to abandon his family. I did not abandon them. Oh, walking out of your own family to run away with another woman, if that is not abandonment, then I do not understand the meaning of that word. Your Honor, it is not Mr. Stima who held baby Gabriela in a basin of water to her last breath. Enough! <laughs> You're a specialist in uh, psychiatry. Yes. You had the opportunity to review my client, Miss uh, Latif. What conclusions did you come up with in regards to her mental state? She suffered from a combination of postnatal depression and mild schizophrenia. The specific type being hyperphrenic schizophrenia, which is commonly known as the disorganized type. Well, could you please tell us what that means? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric diagnosis which describes a mental disorder that is characterized by abnormalities in perception or expression of reality. Distortion in perception may affect all five senses, but most commonly manifests itself as auditory hallucinations, bizarre or paranoid delusions, disorganized speech and thinking with significant social and occupational dysfunction. You had mentioned earlier that my client uh, suffered from a hebephrenic type. Disorganized type, yes. In this type, patients exhibit thought disorders and flat effects. So what tests did you conduct to come to this conclusion? I carried out uh, neuropsychological tests and brain imaging using MRI and PET to investigate functional differences in the brain activity. Mm. I found increased dopamine activity in the mesolimbic pathway of the brain. And what is the role or the use of the dopamine in the brain? Simply put, mm -hmm. it is involved in modulating behavioral responses to stimuli, activation of feelings. It also controls vitals such as the heart rate. So basically, dopamine is something that we cannot function without. But the presence of dopamine is what makes one get sick. Increased activity causes hallucination amongst other things. Hallucination in the broader sense is perception in the absence of stimuli. Perception in a conscious and awake state in the absence of external stimuli. 
So the brain creates its own perception, which is unreal, but appears real to the patient. Simply put, yes. Your Honor, I have here the MRI and the PET scan reports, which I'd like to produce as exhibits. Accepted, and uh, we can have them marked. Dr. Kilimo, are schizophrenic patients valid? Current research indicates that the percentage of people who suffer from schizophrenia who commit violent acts is higher than those without any mental disorder. Patients with the disorganized type, just as evlative, are more violent as a result of their frequent hallucinations. So it is possible to say that my client drowned her own baby while she was experiencing hallucinations, which would mean she was not in the right frame of mind. That is possible. It actually explains the whole situation. Mm. Uh, from my conclusion, which I've also included in my report, Eve suffered from a hallucination while bathing her baby that led her to drown her own baby. After the event, her brain denied reality and blocked it. She then dressed her baby and took her to hospital. While in hospital with the doctor, her brain brought back what had transpired. She then went into an anxiety attack and had to be sedated. So how about her attempts to cut off her own, uh, her own hands? It was the guilt of killing her own baby that led her to do so plus her mental illness. Suicidal tendencies have also been noted in some patients. Thank you, Doctor. Please. Yes? Please cancel all of my appointments. Reschedule them for tomorrow. But there is not so full then. Okay. I have some important matters to attend to. Yes, sir. Thanks. Winnie, we need to talk. Meet me at the club in 30 minutes. Doctor, is there a drug that uh, one can take to increase their dopamine activity in the brain? Actually, dopamine can be supplied as a medication. It can. So is it possible that Eve took a dose of dopamine before her medical examination? If she had taken a dose of dopamine, it would have led to an increase in her heart rate and blood pressure, not the increased brain activity I noted while conducting my test. She suffers from mild schizophrenia, and as it, if it's as mild as you say it is, then it shouldn't uh, result to a violent attack. Am I correct, Doctor? What you say is correct. However, there is no way of measuring the intensity of her hallucinations unless they are witnessed. Unfortunately, the only one I witnessed is the one that has happened in this courtroom. Right, how can you classify that? A mild one that was characterized by a word, salad, which to me was a disorganized, unusual flow of speech. An outburst that could not result to her physically harming anyone. Yes. Thank you. Eve, you've been through a lot in these past few weeks. Are you comfortable with testifying? Yes, I am. I want the world to hear my story. I'm not a cold-blooded murderer. I'm not the same woman who held a baby down in a basin of water till she, she died. Right. Now, there are two doctors here who testified that you had mental disorders. Now, did you notice any psychological problems? Yes, I did. 
but I was advised by my friends that it was hormonal and I shouldn't worry about it. They said that once the baby was a few months old, it would all go away. They told me to do it. Sorry, uh, what did? They told me to do it. I, I didn't want to do it, but they forced me to. Are you okay? Yes. Good. Let's proceed. Right, on that day. Please be seated. Please, Lati, get back to your feet. Calm down, calm down. Would you like a lollipop, honey? He's not Gabriela. Where is Gabriela? Has anyone seen Gabriela? Has anyone seen Gabriela? circumstances of what just happened here today and the evidence presented to me today your honor if I may no you may not it is evident that um, the charge of murder against the accused person cannot be sustained the law is clear um, that where a woman by any willful act or omission causes the death of her child, being a child of um, below the age of 12 months, but at the time of the act or omission, the balance of her mind was disturbed by you know, her not having fully recovered from the effects of giving birth to that child, she shall be guilty of a felony or wit infanticide. And for that offense, she is to be dealt with and punished as if she is guilty of manslaughter of that child. Now, Eve Latif is a danger to herself and those around her and is in dire need of medical assistance. There shall be no jail time above and beyond the time she has served in remand. I am institutionalizing her in a psychiatric institution and I expect to see her and her doctors here in two months for reevaluation. Court is adjourned. You're behaving like you've never seen a schizophrenic woman before. 
just the ones walking naked in the streets. She's a beautiful woman. It's her brain that is sick, not her looks. She'll be okay. It's very sad. Very sad. <laughs> 